Great morning, everybody. Great morning. Great morning. Great morning. Great morning, everybody. Great morning, everybody. How y'all feeling this morning? How is everybody feeling this morning? Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. I was like, where is Mama Art? Mama Art was talking to me this morning. Mama Art was like, find me, find me, find me. I gotta tell you something. And so I'm like, no, this is not usual, okay? This is not a usual conversation between me and Mama Art, okay? And so I had to go get Mama Art. So, but I hope y'all was listening to um, William Murphy because he was definitely telling y'all a few things that y'all probably want to take heed to on this beautiful day. First of all, I want to say great morning, everybody. I am straight off of the awakening intensive, intimate. So my energy is a little different. I'm in a very different place right now. I'm very um, aware. I'm very alert. I'm very certain that um, finally I have found out what I am supposed to be doing on this earth. You know, and I tell you, there are two very important days of one's life. And the day that one finds out why they were born is very important. You know, the day you were born is important. But the day that you find out why you were born is very important. And so this weekend, just seeing the transformation in the women, just seeing the the um, light, you know, come on for these women, um, just changed it all for me. And I want to give a shout out to every person that attended this awakening. I I see you. I see you, you know, I know that many of you all feel very confident in, in who you are. Many of you all feel very sure about where you're going. And I think that when you change a woman, you change a nation. Some of the most profound life altering things happened through a woman. And so uh, we had one man uh, in the room. I, I so love it um, because having that one man in the room, I think his name was John. What is his name, Tony or John? He's 64 years old. He, he kept telling me how much his life has changed and how he has been through and to many, many events. But that was um, his best, most impactful, most transformational event. Jo Kim says John, Sheila says Terry. So I go with Sheila. So his name was Terry. His name is Terry. And so having people in the room like that is just awakening because Nothing is more powerful than awakening to yourself, right? Like really knowing who you are and what it is that you're supposed to be doing is like everything, Terry. And so having him in the room was everything. And I want to tell you all, you know, um, keep going, keep going. You know, when I picked up Mama Ott, I turned to page 363 and I want to tell you all what I read. You know, you're not always going to have somebody to celebrate you or to tell you that you're doing the right thing. You know, because there, there, there are a lot of us that we feel alone in the world. We feel like we're, we're here by ourselves and we feel unsupported. Two, two reasons why people never make it in life that should is, number one, because they think that they are alone, right? And uh, number two, they think that they're not good enough. And when you think that you are alone and when you think that you are not good enough, you have no belief. And the reality is that you're never alone because you got you and you got God. God is omnipresent and God is alive on the inside of you. You understand? And I think that a lot of times we just don't pay attention to that because that's the trick of the enemy. The enemy wants you to think that nobody's going to support you, nobody likes you, nobody believes in you. The enemy wants you to think that you're not smart enough, you're not good enough because when you are confident in who you are and you operate with the God molecule that's on the inside of you, you really get to break generational curses. You get to break generational curses, and then the enemy loses. But you all got to know that the enemy is within each and every one of us. And our goal is to learn how to control and quiet that voice that tells us that we can't do it or we're not smart enough or it's not going to work. And so imagine if you had all the fucking confidence in the world. Imagine if you didn't think that you could fail at anything. Just imagine that. Like, just take a moment to imagine thinking that everything you touch is going to turn to gold. Imagine believing that if you start a business, it's going to make a million dollars. It's so many businesses to start. You would do it. Imagine starting something new and you know that you're not going to fail at it. And so would you be worried about the light bill, right? Would you be worried about 
the 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 man that's not acting right, right? Would you be worried about what the kids are right now? Would you be worried about anything if you really knew that you were doing something that was going to be life altering, life transformational? Would you care about the little bullshit that happened in between you getting to the end result? And the answer is no. So I think that we have to work harder on those two knowingness. We got to work harder on knowing that we are not alone. Like that is one of the dumbest things that we could continue to tell ourselves. Because if you feel alone, why would you think that you could believe in a business? Because if you think nobody ain't gonna buy nothing from your business, you won't start the business. See that? Right? Right? If you think you can never get a man and, and you, you, you don't know how to step into your feminine power and you don't know how to show up as that queen and be a boss, how and why would God give you a man? So all of these limiting stories that we tell ourselves, if you think that you won't be a good mother or you wouldn't be a good boss, right, or you wouldn't do well in a position, you would never pursue that position. So the key is for you to work on yourself so much that nobody can't tell you nothing. So when you get to that place that nobody can't tell you nothing, guess what? Nobody can't take nothing from you because you're going to go get it again and again and again. It's like Warren Buffett. Warren Buffett made billions of dollars and then had to go get it again. Donald Trump, excuse me, Donald Trump. Billions of dollars and then had to file bankruptcy. Warren Buffett, like, these things happen. But what we all got to understand is the goal is to get it inside of you. So, therefore, it's transferable. You can do that shit anywhere you go. Right? Right? Get it. The goal is to get the knowledge, the wisdom, the understanding, the, wi the knowledge, the wisdom, the understanding. The goal is to get it inside of your, your cells, inside of your body. That you know that you'll never be broke another day in your life. You know that where you are just a temporary, you know, uh, a part of the, 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 uh, the, the process, a part of the story. Where you live is just a, a part of where you got to live on the journey. That experience is a part of what you had experienced, Belle, on the journey because it's a part of your story, right? How, how could the story be believable, right, and transformational, right, if it ain't good, if it's not inspiring to somebody else? So I don't know who I'm talking to today. But whatever you are going through, whatever you have ex experienced, count it all joy. Hello, celebrate. Pressure is a privilege. Pressure is a privilege. Imagine not having no pressure. What you gonna do? Just loop de loop de loop, do skip Mary Poppins through the uh, grass all day? You ain't got no pressure. Life is just loop de ma loop. Man, that ain't how it go. So I just want to remind you all today that there's things that we must do. Today is the solar eclipse day. And I got to tell y'all something, man. Y'all, listen. We got to go learn. There is so much stuff that we don't know. There is very smart, wealthy people in the world right now that knows what today represents. They know that trans, a wealth transfer is happening right now all across the land. I'm talking about atmospherically. In the Himalayas, atmospherically, I'm talking about in the heavens, in the clouds. The whole world is going under a worldwide shift called the solar eclipse, and I almost missed it, right? If it wasn't for my girl, Kim, that's why you got to be connected to people that they know things that you don't know. You can't know everything. You can't know everything. You can't know everything. That don't make sense. So that's what you do. You, you know yourself, you love yourself, and you embrace yourself, right? In order to authentically connect, collaborate, and celebrate with your people. When you know who you are, right, the universe will send you your tribe. My vibe attracts my tribe. So I may not know everything. I didn't go read about the solar eclipse. I didn't know that this hasn't happened. Wait, in five thought, wait, wait. It is because of the rarity of the fact that it will last. Let me see what it say. It will last longer than the prior one did in 2017. We had a solar eclipse in 2017. The moon will shrug the sun for up to four minutes, 28 seconds. Wow. That the eclipse is also expected to push up the economy of the U.S. with some predicting a billion-dollar economic windfall. Ooh. To push the economy to the U.S. with some predicting a billion-dollar economic windfall. According to Bradley, the, 2000, the 2024 solar eclipse will be the most watched solar eclipse in history due to many large cities it had passed through. Also, it'll be the last solar eclipse across the United States for 20 years. We won't see another solar eclipse for 20 years. Beyond its astronomical wonders, the solar eclipse holds spiritual significance for many. 
according to Architecture Digest, it symbolizes a time of darkness and spiritual renewal, offering an opportunity for introspection and the shedding of old energies. Y'all better show. It is a time of shedding of old energies. I'm going to the beast today. Sure enough is. Shedding of old energies. Opportunity to look introspect. I'm not making this up. Overall, the effect of solar eclipse on the human health is indirect and minimal. While solar eclipses can evoke various physical and psychological responses in individuals, the direct impact on human health is generally minimal and temporary. I'm just letting y'all know right now, and this is what I want to tell y'all. I was thinking about this since yesterday, and I was debating if I wanted to talk about this, but I must talk about this because somebody needs this conversation, and I'm not going to hold back on this conversation. Drop a one if you are listening to me. Drop a one if you are listening to me. While you're listening to me, I want to read what I read in the Ma'at today. When traveling in unknown territory, each party of the, of the way throws the traveler into confusion and indecision. But if she, he has chosen wisely, his or her glance takes bearings from the horizon and will no longer confuse the ways. Look here and now and see what moves among us. Stay alert. There is much peace before the storm. Remember that in saving your own skin, you lose your own. When you start a fire, you want it to burn. When you take a stand, stand tall. When you believe in something, make it happen. Let your passion be at the same level as your goal. What you really want, you will know when faced with your deeds. True teaching is not an accumulation of knowledge. It is an awakening of consciousness, which goes through successive stages of discovery, the key to the following door. Hold on, hold on. Never believe a word without putting its truth to the test. For discernment does not grow laziness. Oh, quit playing with me. Oh, that's why she don't get tired. That's why she don't get tired because she's on her path. She's on her journey. She's doing what she was called to do. And guess what? Each and every one of us have that ability to keep going, to keep showing up. Until whatever that thing is that we were destined, predestined to do. Until whatever that thing is, is discovered. You know, I told my group this, well, this weekend you know, Jeremiah 29 and 11 says, for I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Plans to prosper you, plans to give you hope and a bright future and an expected end. But why is it that people are homeless? Why is it that people are broke? Why is it that people are, are depressed? Why is it that people don't live a fruitful life? Because we still live according to our will. Your will, your will affects your skill. A lot of people don't have no skills because they have no will to do whatever it takes to get out of the rat race, to break generational curses, to move their family from a, a zip code where birds don't chirp over their community, to move in their family and communities where there's guard gates and communities where there's targets and publicists and banks. And, you know, there are some of us that's not willing to do whatever it takes because we're so busy living in our ego. But let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Number one, you have to want you have to want a fruitful life for yourself. You have to want it. You got to want it. I'm talking about so bad, like the air you breathe, like you want it so bad that you're willing to stay up late at night. Want it so bad that you're willing to okay, have, have long talks with people that you may not even be able to understand, but you know that they got some value to give you. You got to really want it so bad that you're willing to do whatever you can't do because whatever you can't do, you must do. Somebody need to write that down. Whatever I can't do, I must do, because I want it so bad. I'd rather die than not have it. See, some of us don't have that real passion, that real pull towards greatness. But for me, I, I would die rather than be normal and average, because the thought of who I could have been would kill me more than even the, the reality of how I live. Me thinking about, my mind thinking about how I settle, my mind thinking about how I'm playing small, my mind thinking about and me seeing, because I live on the canvas of my imagination, me seeing myself being what I could have been if I only would have not been afraid. Me seeing what I could have been only if I would have got in the right room. Me seeing what I could have been if I only wasn't cheap and I was willing to pay the monies. Me seeing who I could have been if I only would have just grew. If I would have read the right books, if I would have, oh, me seeing who I could have been if I just would have walked for one hour. 
You understand? I'm laying in the bed, fat, broke, living in a, in a, in a place that I wouldn't even want my enemy to live in. Now, who wants that? Why would you do that for yourself? Why would you do that to yourself? Why would you abuse and mistreat yourself like that? Why would you wake up laying next to somebody that you know don't even have the capacity to love you because they are unavailable emotionally? Why, why, why would you even waste your time? Listen, y'all, Pillar Talk this weekend was so amazing. I'm telling you all, listen, I have another awakening coming. July 12th, 13th, and 14th. Diamond Day on the 15th. Y'all need these type of awakening conversations. That pillar talk conversation was so transformational. Why would you get into a situation that you know you can't handle if a person does not have what you want? See, little things like knowing what you want in a man. How you don't know what you want in a man, but you know what you want in a business? These are the things I had to tell myself. Stormy, you know what you want in your business. You know what you want in a good student. You know what you want in a mentee. But you don't know what you want in a man. Somebody that you let come in your house, be around you, be in your body. Why would you waste your time with somebody that doesn't already, already possess the characteristics and the qualities of what I'm looking for? If they don't have the raw material right now of the qualities of the makeup of the mate that I want, why would I even talk to you on the phone or let you take me on a date? See, if you was at Awakening Pillar Talk, you would have that revelation today. Some of y'all would be leaving them bum ass niggas this morning. They wouldn't even be laying next to you right now because you'll realize if I stay with you, I ain't going to never reach my highest and best version of myself. And I'd rather reach the highest and best version of myself than be sitting next to your ass. Watch y'all bow ass. No, 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 no. And I'm not talking about money. Do you have the raw material? Because if you could get the raw material, the raw material could turn into anything based upon their environment. So I, 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 I want to tell you, you know, do you really want it? Some of us don't want it that bad. Some of us, some of us want to pretend that we got it on Instagram. Man, it's easy. It's easy to fake the process. Oh, but the progress going to have to show. It's easy to fake the process. And for me, I just choose not to fake it because I need to live this life in reality. I need to wake up in my backyard. has to look like a resort. I refuse to wake up and in my backyard, I got shrubs and, and, and weeds. Like, that's not fair. Why, why, why would I want to? I'm Stormy Wellington, a queen. Why would I want to wake up and look around and not, and not like the furniture in my house, but I'm a queen? And I want, I want somebody to treat me like a queen, but I wake up and I look around and I don't even like my furniture. But I want somebody else to lay in the bed and feel like royalty. But I, I bought the cheapest comforter in the, in the, in the store. But I, I, I got a Rolex watch on, though. I got, a, I got one comforter sent to my name. Oh, but I got me some Chanel bags. How you got one comforter, man? How you got one comforter? How you could bend your forts and you want somebody to treat you like a queen? How you treat yourself like you ain't shit? No, no, it's about how bad you want it, but it starts with putting yourself first, y'all. We got to treat ourselves. I'm telling y'all, I can't make this stuff up. I don't have no notebooks. This is not, I, just, I don't have no notepad. I'm telling y'all what I did before. And I decided this shit is stupid. I'm not doing this no more. How I want somebody to treat me a certain kind of way that I'm not willing to treat myself. So, so, so how bad you want it boils down to how are you going to start treating yourself? How bad you want it boils down to you deciding that it's time for me to make some changes. It's time for you to make some changes. That's number one. So what, what, what do you want? How bad do you want it? Do you really want it? How bad do you want it? Number two. Number two. You got to be intentional with your moves, y'all. I'm telling you right now, man. We getting older every fucking day. We getting older every day. Every day we getting older. Let me, let me tell you a story real quick. I want to tell you a little something. You know, one of my friends died of AIDS, right? And, um. I went to see him in the hospital in his dying days. And I never forget when I went to the doctor. Um, he couldn't respond. He was non responsive, but he was very coherent. And I asked her, Was he dying? She looked at me and she said, We all dying. 
And I just never forget that day. That was one of those things that stuck with me. And so I just want to remind y'all that every day we're getting a day older. But I also want to get y'all excited about something that I learned a couple of weeks ago that got me excited about life. There's a health economist. His name is um, Roy something. I'm, I'm gonna pull up the I'm gonna pull up the the link and I'm gonna put it in my story today. His name is Roy something. He predicts things when it comes to health. He's like a health prophet, so to speak. And he's predicted so many health things, so many health things. And he's been accurate. Like like what's his name? Nostradamus. He's accurate, right? I think there's a man name. But anyway, he's predicting that by 2025, instead of us aging every year, we're going to look eight, eight months older versus one year older because of technology, because of things like the Oya scan and uh, Nutriburst and NRG and meditation and spirituality and community and unity and supplements, right? Food, be careful. But because of technology when it comes to health, by 2030, instead of us being a year older, we're going to be a year younger, which means we get to live longer lives. And this is scary, but it's good. It's scary because imagine if your life is bad and you live to see 150. Think about that. You be like, uh-uh, I've I, I, I been one to die. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's a, it's a, it's a very interesting dynamic that's going to happen. But then you got some people that's going to live to see 140, 150. I can't make this up, y'all. We, I can't make this up, right? This is fact. This is what's happening right now that you might not know because you're not in the room that they're talking about this. So we're going to live longer lives. We got flying cars coming. We got digital currency. Hello? We got non-invasive. Y'all, I've gotten the all y'all scan. During the scan, the one that I got, after she gave me my prognosis, diagnosis, she sent electromagnetic waves to the areas in my body that I was deficient in certain things. And I felt the shift in my body right there in that moment without a pill, non-intravenous, no pill, no, no needles, nothing, just using energy. So I want to tell you something. We are evolving as a people, as a society. We are evolving. But the question is, are you evolving with society or are you dissolving? Are you evolving, really? Are you getting bigger? Are you getting more wiser? Are you getting more light? Some of y'all don't got no light. No light. You dark. But I tell you, get excited. Get excited. Because today is a time of darkness and spiritual renewal. I'm going to put some flowers on my mom's grave. Thank you. And I got to buy my mom some new flowers. Sure enough. I'm flowering up this place, baby. Okay. It is a time of darkness. Darkness is needed for the light. You can't have light all the time. Dark is good, too. Don't get it twisted, ladies and gentlemen. Dark is good, too. We need both of them, but we need the right amount at the right time. This is a time of looking introspect and shedding of old energies. It is time I think we all should write down at 1111 11 today. We should all write down some things we don't want. And then we should burn that bitch. 1111. 1111 at 1110. At 11, at 11 o'clock, start writing down some things that you don't want. And at 1111, 11, I'm going live. I'm going live. Burn that bitch up. Whatever it is, burn it up. Rip it up. If you can't burn it, just rip it up. Because now is a time of spiritual renewal, of transformation. Time to look forward and get over what the what was. We allow, we allow our past to rob us of our future so much. We allow our memories to be bigger than our dreams so much. I can't make this up. We all did it. We can't do it. It's a waste of our time. Let's think about evolution. So I want you guys, number two, to start to be intentional. Asking yourself, what skill set do I have? What am I doing? What am I, what, am I procrastinating? Am I disciplined? Am I consistent? Am I in my formula? Y'all, today's the last day of the 15-day challenge. 
Who can tell me when the next one starts? When the next challenge starts? Some of y'all need to, need to lose some weight. I'm telling you, when you fat, you don't feel good. You feel insecure, and then you be mean. I'm not making this up, and then you don't talk to people nice. And then you're not confident, and then you don't really operate at your highest and best when you don't feel sexy within your own body. And I don't know what that means for you. You could be 300 pounds and feel sexy. I'm talking about sexy, feeling beautiful, lotion in your body different. You know what I mean? Feeling good, right? Because feeling good is a strategy. Thank you, Janice. Our next 15-day challenge starts on April the 25th. I think, yeah, right? No, it can't start on the 25th. Yeah, it's not the 25th. That don't make sense. It starts on the 15th, yeah. What's the date? Somebody give me the date. It's the 15th. Thank you. 15th through 29th. Thank you, Brittany. Our next 15-day challenge starts the 15th through the 29th. We're giving away money. If the first place winner wins $1,000, second place $500, third place $250. I'm just coming on here to tell you all that it's time. It's time to treat ourselves different. It's time to treat ourselves like we are elevated beings. It's time to start drinking water. It's time to start meditating. It's time to start lotioning in your body a little longer. It's time to start being more nicer to yourself so that you can desire to be nicer than somebody else. It's time for you to start observing yourself. Like, pay attention to how you show up, right? Pay attention. How am I acting? How do I look? Did I make him smile? Was I kind? Did I talk my shit but also throw a little joke in? Because I don't want to be the one that make anybody feel disempowered. Like, these are things, y'all, that I started to pay attention to myself and say, I got to get better. Stormy Wellington, you got to get better. You have to mind your character. You have to mind how people feel when they leave you. So I want you guys to start being intentional and paying attention to yourself. I promise you, have fun with it, though. And, and, and ask yourself, would I want to be treated like that? And I don't care if you, I'm talking about, the bartender, to the bus boy, to the valet person, to the maid, to the housekeeper, to the chef, to the drive through person. Did you say, please, thank you? Did you say, man, great job? Did you compliment that person? I'm telling you, be intentional but observant in this next season of your life, which we're crossing over today. Thank you so much, Brittany. It's time. It's time. It's going gonna, it's gonna to help you. And it's going to make you feel so good. And you know what the beautiful thing is? Energy attracts. This new energy that you're about to embody with your transformation is going to start attracting new people. People that's going to understand you and like you and want to be connected to you. As a matter of fact, I dare you to say that I'm a money magnet. I'm a walking vault. Successful entrepreneurs, they look for me every single day. They want to point to me. They want to give to me. They want to align with me. I am a money magnet. I am a walking vault. Successful entrepreneur, they look for me every single day. They want to pour into me. They want to align with me. They want to collaborate with me. They want to connect with me. There are people right now in high places talking about Stormy Nicole Wellington. They are writing checks out in Wealth Connection Global's name. Girl, hold my hand. $20 million and I turned it down for 50. Success Shortcuts Podcast will be the number one podcast for entrepreneurs in the world. See, I just had a staff meeting and I spoke it out of my mouth. I speak it so I can hear myself because my cells can hear me. This is what I'm talking about. The Bible says you got to speak those things that are not as though they were and life and death is in the power of the tongue. See, these are the things that we stop doing. That's why a lot of us don't have the confidence that we used to have. That's why a lot of doors are not opening as wide as they can because we're not activating our lights in the mornings, activating our lights every day. So I want you guys to start activating yourself. This is what I had to do, and I'm just telling you what I'm doing because that's what this call is about, right? Y'all do realize that this is about what I want to talk about on my call. You came on here, y'all ain't paid me nan quarter. Some of y'all don't spend no money with me. You ain't never bought no candy cleanse. You won't even repost a banner. You fat. You got a big stomach. You want to lose weight, but you won't even try the candy cleanse, and I look good as fuck, but you still won't try the candy cleanse. It's like, is you a hater or something? You won't come to the awakening, but you come get awakened on my calls. You won't tell nobody nothing about me. You won't send me a nice DM and say thank you. You won't send me a cash app. You won't give to the Girl on My Hand community. You won't buy an NRG. You won't buy Nutribirth, but you come soak up all my knowledge, and you wonder why you won't get no breakthrough, because it don't work that way. You can't get something for nothing. It don't work that way. As a matter of fact, listen to me right now. Run from people that just want something from you.
They won't even like your post. Like, God damn, bro. You can't even like a post and send one comment under my post? You see I ain't hardly got no likes on it. You see it's three likes. Help me out. But no, nah, we don't do that. Mm -mm. That's too much like love. I'm not buying no book from her. I'm not drinking no candy cleanse. That shit don't work. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, I'm not liking her posts. I'm not liking his, I'm not reposting a banner for her event. I'm not going to help her sell a ticket and make her more money so she can buy another bin. And we got to stop that, y'all. What we don't want for somebody else won't never happen for us. Because that's the energy. As a matter of fact, negativity carries a stronger energy than positivity. That's why you got to work harder on positive energy because negativity is a strong force. It's the forces of darkness. And whenever you see that you don't want to do things to serve and support somebody else, you need to cancel and delete that thought. You need to think, what I make happen for somebody else, God going to make happen for me. So let me buy that book. So when I least release my book, somebody going to buy mine. And let me repost it. So when I, when I, when I, when I post my book, they're going to remember what I did for them. Thanks, Trinice. When they, they're going to remember what I did for them. And they're going to repost my book for me, too. It ain't that hard, y'all. But guess what? We got to learn to lead with love. We got to learn to lead with love. We could all collectively make this world a better place, but that's not what we want to do. We hate on each other. We kill each other. We talk shit about each other. We don't support each other. But we'll buy Gucci, Valentino, Balenciaga, and Hermes all day long. They talk shit about us, but we still about that shit, post it and tag them and all, hashtag them and everything. <laughs> but your friend launched a business, and you know your friend making money, and you know your friend know how to make money. You know every time people come around your friend, they get better. But you won't post a friend because you just a hater. Man, we got work to do. We got to lead with love, y'all. What's up, Ox? We got to lead with love. Y'all, I read this book called The Jewish Phenomenon. I can't make this up, man. Listen to me. They ain't buying it if they ain't from their community. They, they find a Jewish doctor in the community, and they go to the Jewish doctor in the community. They find a Jewish esthetician in the community, and they go to the Jewish esthetician in the community. They find a Jewish dermatologist, a, der a Jewish psychologist, Jewish pastors. It's called the Jewish phenomenon. They, live, they, 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 they circulate their money within their communities. That's what they do. The Jew is called, it's a blue and white book. It's called the Jewish phenomenon. I can't make this up. Change my life. That's all I needed from that book. So I try to find ways to elevate and empower my folks. I tell you to tag yourself in the comments. If I see you got something going on, I'll repost it. It ain't hurting me for somebody to go spend no money with you. As a matter of fact, if I don't help people to spend money with you, I'm hurting myself because that's the world we live under. We live under a karma-based a karma based world. We live under a world that's based upon the law of causation. Y'all, I can't make this up. It's a law. It's a law. The law of causation. What do you cause it to happen for somebody else is why things are happening for you. And that's why, lastly, I'm going to tell y'all this. We can undo all the bad that we've done so that we can start attracting nothing but greatness. How many of y'all want to know how to do that? We, what's up, TikTok? Let me get some likes. I should be at 100,000 likes. That's why I'll be coming on here like that. Because y'all don't really show me no love. I'd be embarrassed. Can I get some more likes and some hearts and some crowns and some energy and some vibes? Listen to me, y'all. I can't make this up. What you make happen for somebody else will make happen for you. We live under the law. The law of cause and effect. The law of karma. We, we, it's not just the law of attraction only. And it's that too. Man, it's so many laws. The law, look, look it up. The 12 universal laws. Look it up. You could change your life right now by respecting that you are under the laws, whether you want to respect the laws or not. And when you, when you, when you have good character, good character is one of the greatest, the greatest laws you can live under. Having good character. Thank you for the $11.11. .11. Living under the laws. Learning the laws, knowing the laws, knowing that the laws are in existence, whether you want to respect them or not. But understanding them to the point where you start living according to the laws, 
you could look up and you 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 moving in a new zip code, you buying a new car, you'll attract somebody to fix your credit. Next thing you know, they'll fix your credit and your credit will be fixed. You won't even have no business. Next thing you know, you, you've been a created you a whole digital product, get you a business, and now your business is popping. And then you, you look up and your credit will get done, your business is popping, and then you start learning how to market and promote, right? And then you get in the right rooms, and then you get networks, and then you start connecting with other people. And what you make happen for somebody else, God will make happen for you. So when you go in other rooms, you start asking people things like, what are you excited about in life right now? What, what can I do to help you be successful? People not used to that. And then you ask them that, and then they, and they body, their body is getting, their body, their body is getting hot because nobody asks nobody, what can I do to help you? And then you say, oh my God, you are beautiful. I saw you from across the room and you caught my attention. What do you do for a living? You start learning how to talk like that. And another woman will look at you and say, I saw you too, but I didn't know what to say to you. And you say, girl, we attracted each other. And as you know, you look up and you was working at this regular job. You was a regular girl, regular guy, regular, just regular degla. Driving your little Honda. It was clean. Living in your little apartment. But your life could change in 90 days. Like, y'all, listen. Lead and love on yourself in a way in which you believe that it's all possible. But nothing can happen beyond your wants. Nothing can happen beyond your will. Nothing can happen beyond your why. And so I just want to you know, express to you all today, today is a new day. Today is a very powerful day. I encourage you to meditate today. Get the energy today that you want today. Whatever is bothersome or negative, like even when you have your business meetings and stuff today, make it be about elevation. Don't make it be about pointing fingers, blaming somebody, making somebody feel less than. Make it be about how do we get better? How do we get better? Today's Monday. A lot of people having their business meetings. How do we get better? How do we elevate? Right? How do we how do we take this thing all around the world? How do we get 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 better than we did last time? Because real businesses is about elevation and and adding value, right? And so everything that you do right now from this day need to be about moving forward, positively moving forward. And knowing that it's time. Knowing that you are going to change how you show up. Change the thing that you do. So therefore, what you experience in return could change. Once you start changing how you show up, once you start observing yourself, right? Once you start believing in yourself, right? Everything else will start to fall into place. Your mind has to change first. And then you start doing things differently. And as you start doing things differently, you look up and you're like, wow, being intentional really works. I didn't never, I never really paid attention to the things that I was doing, but now that I'm paying attention to the things that I'm doing, I now realize I gotta stop doing these things. I didn't realize how bad it was until I really looked at what those things were doing for me and to me. I, I, I gotta stop talking on the phone with this person. We be on the phone talking about nothing. What are we talking on? The, I get off the phone and nothing changes. I, I feel drained. We didn't talk about no business. I, yeah, I got a little tea about what's going on. Thank you for the $11.11. I got a little tea about what's going on in the street. But I don't really, really care about that. I, I'm going to have to stop accepting these phone calls. I'm going to also have to stop venting. How about that? I'm going to stop venting and keeping it real. Because because my subconscious mind doesn't know the truth between what's really happening and what has not happened. So when I keep it real and I talk negative about stuff, that's not going to help me get to the next level. So I'm going to stop keeping it real. I'm going to keep it um manifested. I'm going to keep it faithful. I'm going to talk about the future. I already know what I did wrong. I ain't got to beat myself up about it no more. Y'all, let today be the, be the day. What, what we're doing today, write down the things that you don't want no more. Whatever it may be, today is solar eclipse. We have not had an eclipse since 2017, and we will not have another one for 20 years. This is that transformational energy. This is that, comp, that confidence energy. This is that energy of shedding of old energies. This is the energy of spiritual opportunity for spiritual awakeness. Really meditate today. Go for a walk. Don't look up in the sky. Just walk and embrace the energy. Trust me, the, the ones that know, know. When you write it down at 11, 11, I'm going to go live. And we just go, well, if you got a paper, burn that bitch. If you, got, if you ain't got no, I mean, if you got a lighter, burn that bitch up. If you ain't got no lighter, rip that bitch up. And decide 
And as you're ripping it, tell yourself, cancel and delete. You will no longer, you limitation will no longer have power over me. I am moving forward. Speak it out your mouth, whatever you want to that damn paper and rip it up and start changing. After you speak it three, four times, you feel like you got it in your system. Now you start speaking about only the good things. Today is my day. I'm moving forward. The future is mine. I am so happy and so grateful now. It is December 31st, 2024, and I've made over $60 million, and I've made my, my dreams come true. I am so happy and so grateful now that I've made over $60 million in all of my business, and I've made my dreams come true. I made my dreams come true. Ain't no magician going to come make my dreams come true. Ain't no angel going to come from the heavens and move my legs, my feet, and my lips. Ain't no God going to jump out the sky and do what I... Hello, we are in a partnership. God needs you and you need God. We both need each other because God operates through you. God needs a fleshly body to operate through. Everybody talk about their big gods and all this. Okay, well, God can God use your fleshly body to create love on earth? And if the answer is no, no worries. Today is a new day. Move forward. Don't look backwards. Thank you for the $11.11, Candice. Move forward. Don't move backwards. Don't think about what you used to do, who you used to be. Throw you on some tennis shoes, some little sweatpants. Go for a walk. Go move your body today. Let your body bust a sweat. Let your body feel uncomfortable. Don't do what you always do. If you always walk slow, bitch, walk fast today. If you always just come sit down after you walk, bitch, do some jumping jacks. Do some stuff for the transformation to take place. We are in the transformational energy. Do some jumping jacks. Do some jump rope. Do some abs. Do some shit that make you uncomfortable. Put on that music that make you vibe. See yourself with your new car, your new house, your new man. Get rid of that bum. If he ain't, if he ain't ready, if he ain't on what you want, if you get on his nerves, you start talking about manifestation and meditation, you say my name, he get annoyed. Bitch, you need to leave him alone. Because he's not the one. And whoever is in your way right now, they got to go. Man, we ain't got time to play. I don't know about y'all. I ain't got time to play. Listen, I saw that new uh, Rolls Royce electric car. I thought I ain't want no new car. Shit. I want a new car. I can't bring that car over here. So that means I got to be moving. I got I, I to make some money. I don't want to drive that car over here. So I got things to do. Do anybody on here got things to do? Does anybody want a new car that they can't drive into their community? Does anybody want... Want some new stuff, some new energy, some new relationships, some new... I want new friends. I want new friends. No, no, no new friends. That was the dumbest... That was the dumbest song. And we used to sing that dumb, I know new friends. Yeah, no, I want new friends, new business partners, new, 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 new. And we all should want that. Why do we want what's old? What's old got us where we was at? We want new stuff, new car. What y'all want? Come on, just drop it in this energy. Come on now, y'all hear the birds chirping, the birds chirp over here. I hear them. Come on, what you want? Drop it down in the conversation real quick. What you want? New zip code, new car. What y'all want? Say it. I'm telling y'all, I'm telling y'all, just the just zip right here. It's something about me now. Y'all better tap it in. Y'all better get it, get it. Y'all better take it. I, I need a new car, new everything. Be specific. What come on, what you need? New location, new job, new car. Exactly. Come on. New association, period. New business partners align with me. BMW, XM, new house, period. New car, that's what I'm talking about. New truck, LL, private plane, okay. New zip code, new closet, new car. That was house in London, child, okay. New man, new mindset. New house, new car, new business partner. Come on. Shauna the Queen says, new car, new home, new business partners. New energy, Patricia says, new energy. Tanisha says, new zip code. America Jennifer said new income. I'm just Stardust says new ideas. Miss Teresa said I want a new car and a new house. Kalia, new zip code. Shelly says new car. What Shelly say? New clothes and business partners. Period. Tanisha, all right. New monies. Erica says new business partners. Shashiko, amazing, said new man. Tanya Lee says new business partners. I need my four time four X in the driveway. New house, new environment, new husband, new life, new okay, period. 2024, new G-Wagon, new home, new relationships, Angela Hill says. T-Queen says, new house, new car, new business partners. This is what I'm talking about. Love says, I want a new outlook on life, learning to love myself. Exactly, I love it. Brittany says, relationships with God, new body. Okay. Coach Brittany says, new zip code, Florida, new business partners, new wig. I can't. Karen says, new business. 
Shayna the dancer says, new nails. I can't. Not new nails. I want a new life. Y'all are so funny. Well, listen, y'all. Today is the day of the new new. Okay? Y'all better cross over. Y'all better tap in. Y'all better write down whatever it is you do not want. Whatever you're not interested in, write it down on a piece of paper at 1111 underneath that manifestation energy. You know, write the vision, make it plain. Habakkuk, one and one. Hello. You writing it and rip it up at 1111. So rip it. Rip it, rip it, rip it, or burn it, burn it, burn it. But it's about changing the thought and moving forward. All right. So, hey, guys, I love y'all. Have an amazing day. Remember, today is a new day. Today is my day. Again, remember, today is a new day. Today is my day again. If you got value out of this call, make sure y'all tag some people on the call. I hate when I post it in all y'all last be on my live. But when I say tag somebody, not one of y'all tag nobody. You know, y'all really be kind of haters a little bit. Y'all want to hear my whole speech, but won't even tag your friend. Why? I think I, think I know why. I think y'all be taking my speech and talking to y'all friends like y'all said it. And y'all don't want y'all friend to know. She got that from Cole Stormy. So that's why y'all don't be wanting to tag me. But if you a real one and you ain't, you ain't fake like that, I dare you to tag me so I can see. Tag one friend in the comment of what I said today to prove to me that you ain't one of them haters. You ain't one of them. You acting new, new. You're going to start liking, commenting, sharing, and supporting one another. How about that? We're going to start liking, tagging, sharing, and supporting one another. All right? So start today. All right? Bye. Two loops. Hey, hey, TikTok, let me get up. Let me get some more likes. Y'all like y'all got to pay for the damn likes, TikTok. Can I get some more likes? Hello. See, that's why I'm coming on here tomorrow. Because y'all don't appreciate me. I need another phone. I got to get another phone. Uh-uh. It, not, this one don't work. I'm going to go buy another phone today. Bye, everybody. Too little. Y'all like my Versace. I got a Versace show. Ooh, my waist look cute. Ooh. Candy clean. Candy Cleanse. Get you some, boo. Thank y'all, though. Y'all so amazing. Time to walk. Time to walk, boo.